everybody, it's Chris with Simply Japanese Maples. So today we're going to talk to you about potting mixes for your Japanese maples. And I want to say a special thank you to my YouTube viewer who suggested that. Now, believe it or not, I actually do have that on my list of video ideas. But he beat me to it, and I thank you for it. So uh, let's talk about that today. So what are container mixes for your Japanese maple? With those trees, aeration and drainage is king. We have a, a root ball that's sitting in water. It's going to harm your tree and worse. So the, the main thing is using mixes that are going to be uh, fluffy, airy, and provide um, that drainage that you want. So for us on the west coast, BC, uh, one thing that we have, material that we have plentiful supply is fir, fir bark mulch, and so from fir trees. And so for us here in the nursery, we use five parts of aged fir bark mulch, three parts of regular or a newer bark mulch, and two parts per light. So 50%, 30%, and 20%, making 100%. So for you, it might be, you might have uh, pine bark available, or maybe you only have um, bags of like a, an azalea or rhododendron mix that you can get. So there's different ways to approach that. Um, if you have pine bark, for example, you might use 80% pine bark, 10-15% uh, of a peat moss, and the remainder is perlite. Um, or use those bags as, you, as needed. The nice thing with the bark mulch is that the tree is going to get some nutrients from that bark mulch in addition to that being the, the actual potting mix. So yeah, basically, so I take this mix and five parts, two parts, and two parts. I mix it all up and this is kind of how it looks. So I've got this nice, sort of fluffy, airy, lots of texture, the perlite and the different textures to the mulch uh, provide quite a bit of airiness, room for the roots to grow, and uh, air to pass in there, and um, the tree's getting nutrients from that mulch as well. So basically, I just potted up this three gallon Sangu Kaku. Basically, it was a two gallon until about five minutes ago. I loosened up the roots. Now, if the, if the, if the tree's perfectly healthy, you don't need to mess with the root ball whatsoever. So basically, in this three gallon pot, I'm gonna layer the bottom with maybe two to three inches of the potty mix. Put that in there. I'm gonna fill up around it. And kind of give the pot a little wiggle just to have the container mix flow down the side. There we go. So this happy tree now has some new mix in it. So it'll get more nutrients from that. So speaking of nutrients, fertilizing your Japanese maple once a year in the spring if you're gonna do it. Now, it's gonna be more imperative to fertilize a tree that's in a container versus one in the landscape. Once your tree is established in your landscape after one or two years, it's super drought tolerant, leads little, minimal to no fertilization. You could decide if your tree's in a pot to give it some fertilization particularly if you're not refreshing that potting mix enough. Um, so yeah, generally I use like a 444, something organic and low in the number. Um, once you get into the numbers that are above 10, those are synthetic fertilizers and that's, you could do a little bit of damage if you're not using those as recommended. So, but that's a whole other conversation. So anyways, yeah, um, you have to use what materials are available to you, but the key thing is aeration, drainage, it's gonna make for a happy Japanese maple. So if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. It's gonna help my business get discovered uh, more and it's gonna help us bring great videos on information on these trees, as well as bring Japanese maples right to your doorstep, which is what we do. So thanks a lot, check us out, simplyjapanesemaples.ca. And until next time.